do what it do, people. We are back on the hey, Good hey, Time hey, Show. Hey. That was Grind or Die. Blaze yes, Duval. Yes. You can check him out right now on the U Store. Yes, yes. And now we have a new person that just signed up to the U Store. For show is on the line. Welcome to the show. What it do, fam? How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Pleasure to be here. Oh, man, it's a pleasure to have you. Pleasure to have you. For show is in the building. Now, I have a habit of saying your name twice. Like, I feel like it needs more to it. Like, I just, like, it's so sure. I just, like, for show, for show. Like, that's how it goes. That's cool with me. Say it as many times as you need. That's what's up. Now, how actually did you get started making music? Now, I know you had the song Cool Walk, which we're going to get into and we're going to talk about on the show, but how did you actually, you know, come about doing music? Is it something that you always loved or something that you recently just started? I mean, I've, I've always loved music. I, you know, I'm a fan of hip-hop, period. Um, <clears throat> no particular genre. I just love music, and, and it's growing up. Uh, matter of fact, my, uh, my mom just had... All these oldies had albums back when they were, you know, still doing the vinyl. Um, and I would just, she would play music all day long, nonstop. So uh, I just sit and listen to the music that she played, and, and it just kind of always stuck in my head and just became something I always liked. So I, I just, ever since then, you know, I, I just been infatuated with music, no matter what it is. I like all genres, it doesn't even matter. That's okay. good. Diversity is a good thing in the music industry. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, where now where are you representing from? I'm 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 born and raised in uh in New York. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm born in New York, raised in Cincinnati. Uh, originally from Long Island, New York. We moved when I was about three years old. Came to Cincinnati, Ohio, and I've been here ever since. Okay, okay. representing Ohio. Cincinnati. There you go, whoop, man. Whoop. Hold it down. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel like do you feel like you always have to you know still show some love to New York? Oh, always, always. Most my, most of my family's still in New York. Uh, I always got to show love for New York, always. And it's you know sometimes people say that's where I get my uh, <laughs> my hip hop from anyway. They say you got to be you got to be from New York if uh, you're doing this hip hop thing, whatever. But you know I, I like to throw props to New York always. So I always call, call out my hometown anytime. Now, how was the hip hop movement in Cincinnati? I tell you what, Cincinnati, um, not really to down my city since <laughs> since I am repping Cincinnati too. Cincinnati is saying like they kind of they, they do a lot of following. They they, they don't set trends. Um, you know, they they more of do what they see on TV. Monkey see, monkey um, do. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, it's as far as that. You know, like, uh, it's okay. I mean, you, you, it's trendy. I tell you that much. But it's, it's not, not too much originality here. You know, so and that's, that's one thing and reason I do uh, always yell out New York and holler at New York because I always see something different, something new when I go back home. Okay. Now, what, what can you, you know, say to the people who have not heard your music when they hear your music? What is something that they can expect or look forward to? Um. You can always expect to be entertained by my music. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I say that a lot of people, you know, some people say they're rappers or singers, whatever. I'm, I'm more of an entertainer. That's what I want to be. So you're going to hear some, some feel good music. You're either going to want to dance to it. Uh, I'm going to tell you some kind of story that you've been through or something like that. And that's what you're going to hear. That's what you're going to hear when you hear my music. Okay. okay. Now, let me ask you a question. So, Where does your ri- originality come from? My originality come from? Yeah, where, the, where does yours come from? Like, you know, what you've been in Cincinnati, they kind of follow trends. Where do you, you know, stay grounded? Where you, where do you get your originality from? I, you know what? I don't. I sometimes I, I wonder that myself. I just wake up and think of things. Sometimes I have some kind of slightest idea, but uh, I do know a lot of my stuff that I do because just comes from everyday life. You know, my struggles. I. Of course, most rappers, most, I don't even going to say rappers, most African Americans, uh, especially males, have some kind of story of struggling or something like that. I've lived through all that, too. You know, we, we started, we were poor when I was a little kid. But um, I, I think just my everyday life experiences, it, it makes me who I am, and it comes out of my music, and, and that's where my originality comes from. Okay. Right. That's good to hear. At least you tell stories. That's good. Now, with the new single, Cool Walk, um, how did that actually come about? Cool Walk was actually a... Uh, um, it's funny you ask that. Uh, when I 
gr- growing up, going in, out to clubs, when I, when I would go out to clubs, I was never much of a dancer. So, Uh-oh. you know, I, I, <laughs> I'd actually... <laughs> I, I, I be one of them cats walking around the club the whole time with a drink in his hand. You just do a little you know, two step, do a two step. Yeah, side that, to side. that's it. That's all. That, that's all you get from me. It's a nice little two step. I, I, I stay in my lane. <laughs> so, but because of that, um, I actually was in the club once, just and and just walking around, and the girl had just told me I had a sexy walk one day. So I'm like, a sexy walk? How does a guy have a sexy walk? I'm like, whatever. So, I. I remember just being in the mirror trying to just look at myself walking and figuring out. So I'm like, whatever. So I'm like, I'm, I'm going to try to try to walk out, this walk thing. And I used to actually walk around and try to be as cool as I could walking around in the club. And uh, I just remembered that. And I'm like, man, I, I, I was just stepping one day while I was rapping. I was actually two-stepping in the studio while I was recording a verse. And I'm like, I'm about to make a little dance out of this. So I, just, I was just thinking about that. And I made a song about it, like, is in the club for the cats that don't really dance and get down like that. Do a little two step that anybody can do. That is funny. And, and that's where that came from. Dig that. Now, before we uh, got on, uh, went live, you were telling me that Cool Walk actually will not be on the mixtape that you're working on that you're going to drop uh, shortly. Right. It's going to be on the EP that you're dropping at the end of summer. Correct. Now, what made you not put Cool Walk on the mixtape? Um. But my producers and myself, we, we thought this was a, a big enough record that um, this could actually be on a studio album. You know, the mixtape is going to be available for free download for everybody. And uh, they just thought this was a big enough record to really get my single, I mean, to really get my EP pushed and something that can actually make some money out of uh, They just thought it was bigger than a mixtape. So, and... and I have to listen to it for a while. You know, I agree with him and we say, hey, you know what? Let's make this part of the actual EP that's coming out. Okay. Now, mm-hmm. now what can people expect from the mixtape that's coming out first? <clears throat> Mixed, uh, I'll tell you what. My, my, um, my studio album that's coming out is more, uh, is, one is geared more towards, uh, towards a female audience, but then it's also maybe PG-13. This mixtape is probably rated R. I mean, it might be rated X. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> rated X. Oh Lord. But uh, yeah, I, I just get to really get out there, say what I want to say, and, and you know, show people that you know I understand what my roots are. But I, I'm, I'm also a business a businessman at the end of the day, and I know what type of music needs to be in the uh, in the studio and, and out there for the public. And, and what you know, just things I can say, things I can't say, and, and what's gonna make money. So, you know, I'm gonna release things to show people that <clears throat> I still am. I guess what they call down, real, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, I got my underground stuff and my mixtapes that's gonna come out. But then, when it's time to get down to it and make money, you know, I'm gonna release the right stuff, and that's what uh, that's what the, the EP is for. That's dope. Okay. I like that. I like that, now, man. Now, do you have titles for the mixtape or the EP? EP is called For Showtime. For Showtime. Okay. Now, where you get the name from? What made you go with For Show? <laughs> um, I just, man, I've been rapping for a while, and I probably went through I don't know how many names. Um, and one day I was just sitting trying to figure out what the heck am I doing this for. And uh, I, I figured, you know, say, you know, I'm doing this. It was like I'm doing this for Showtime, for the show. You know, I like to entertain. And it just came to me one day for show. Like that's what it's gonna be. That's, that's the name for show. And the same thing with the EP. You know, it's my first studio album. I'm like, what I'm gonna drop? Uh, what is this? Well, how can I explain myself? And it's for Showtime. It's my time. It's my time to shine. Let's, let's get it on. While you shine, do the cool walk. Now you know I gotta mess with you because you said you've been rapping <laughs> for a while, right? Now I gotta mess with you. What was the worst rap name you came up with? Uh oh. <laughs> the worst rap name? Uh. Oh man, probably D Money, spelled D M O N E E. It's probably just I don't know. I don't know what the heck that was. D Y'all Money? That's that not. Before. That's not that bad. D yeah, Money? That's not too bad. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I, that's really that's where I've been. I was I was Playboy D before D Money. Playboy um, D. Playboy D. Now that one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you went back to the early, the, the like ninety nine two thousand. 
Yeah, oh, that was, that's man. way back. That was way back in the day. I even got a something I can't get rid of. My very first tattoo, I had a Playboy bunny on my arm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. No. Yes, I do. But you, can, you, 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 he can still work that out, though. You know, like when you the girl can. asks about it, he could be like, "No, nah, you know, it's just you know, Playboy Bunny. I'm like the Energizer Bunny. I keep going and going." <laughs> 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 you gotta switch up the story. Yeah. Now, okay, now I have to ask, what was the first rap that you actually like first like wrote? Like even if you were in middle school, you know how kids be in middle school, they be battling, be rapping about backpacks and pencils. Oh, um, first rap I wrote was a rap I don't remember what it was called but it was a rap dissing this girl <laughs> that wouldn't talk to me when I was in school wow <laughs> and I just let me tell you how it, it was oh man it was I had just graduated um, and, and she just wouldn't give me no holler so I wrote a whole song just talking about her knowing I was infatuated with her but I, I, I tore her up in the rap too do you, do you remember one verse of it do I remember what a verse of it. Nah, I can't. All, all I remember is I said something about smashing her sister, which was a lie. <laughs> I said That's all I remember. <laughs> oh. Man, that is funny. That is so funny. That, that's how you get a girl back. You say you smashed her sister. I was about to say, well, hey, <laughs> you, hey, ladies, if you ever, if he ever trying to talk to you, talk to him, okay? Turn well, he gonna smash his sister. <laughs> So, that's, see, that's the bad thing about girls messing with entertainers, especially a rapper. I can I can tell the whole world what I want to tell them. Ab absolutely, that is, that that's how true. you do it. It, <laughs> it, it, it. It's working for Ray J with uh, the "I Hit It First song. Oh yeah, see. Now, got now, now, as we get ready to get into Cool Walk, um, give people just a, 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 a in light. You know, like yo, listen. When you hear my music, I'm you know I, I know you said it's different. Authentic, you coming with different vibes, the whole nine yards. But you know, the music industry is 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 like in, it's going it's going places where we need to get it back. Yeah. So you know, if I pop in your mixtape, you know what what vibe should I look? You know, I I know you said I'm a dance, I'm a party, I'm a this, but lyrical content is the lyrical content there. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's that's another thing. Um, I I try my best to. Uh, to, to 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 reach out to the people who like lyrics, who actually listen to lyrics. I try to go as hard as I can and actually spit bars when I can. Yeah, um, I do commercial stuff and I say commercial things, but I still want everybody to say this guy can rap too. And I, you know, I, I'm not gonna sit here and mention any names and MCs, but you know, there's some out there uh, rappers out there that just they just can't rap, but they got a dope beat. And they got a something catchy hook or something like that, and and they make millions. Yeah, yeah, I'm it's trying, a lot of I'm them. trying to do, <laughs> I'm trying to do all that and still have the lyrical content with it. So yeah, I want to release some commercial things. Yeah, I want to have some catchy hooks, but I want people to still say, "Dag, that dude can rap too." So you're gonna hear some, 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 you know, some words and lyrics, irony, all that stuff, metaphors. You hear all that in my rap too. So you won't be let down on the lyrics. <laughs> I like I like that I, I like, like that. that answer. I like now, that. Now answer. you got now you got me intrigued. Now I want to I want to hear you spit something, man. We got we got like one minute before we go into your song. Spit spit eight bars real quick. Let us hear what you got. <laughs> eight bars. Uh, okay, let's see. I know he's gonna hit me with something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you got uh, thirty I, seconds, baby. Let's do it. I got thirty seconds. Oh man, I'm not a freestyle artist. Uh, okay, rap something from a song that you wrote. Something from the bottom. Uh, no, I tell you what, come back to me after that, and I'll rap something. Play after you play the song, I'll rap something for you. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna, we, All right. We didn't know what you sound like then. We was trying to get some exclusive. Get a feel. You trying to get a feel? You you gotta hear the song first, then you get a feel. I'm telling you. All right. Okay. Well, you have the floor. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce your new song. Now, who actually produced this song real quick? Oh, yeah. This was produced by uh, Diggs Town Music Group, uh, Diggs himself, so owner of Diggs Town. He produced this track for me. 